Hi guys, it's Francis Bo, and uh, welcome to another exciting episode of the Bo Show. And uh, I'm so sorry for the uh, for not doing any of these episodes. I've actually been asked lately for to do another Bo Show. Um, the reason for that is because the uh, two Bo reviews that you saw recently uh that took a lot of the of my camera work and it took a lot to get it good into frame and uh it might not have looked it, i i understand they didn't look as good um to tell you why they don't look as good that's because i was just doing a test i wanted to make sure that they my camera can focus on a review and also i want to see how many people would recognize those reviews and see how good they are. Um, now that I've seen the numbers and the uh, the views, um, I will be uh, doing more. That's not the that's just not one thing. I'm gonna do one thing and not do it. I'm still gonna be doing more bull reviews. Um, most likely, the review stage is going to stay the same, but I might change it up a bit. Possibly, but um, don't expect it to be. Uh, I might do it on a table, cause the one you just saw me do a review on for those two, I did it. I had them on a big uh, book box, like a like a big toy box basically, and I had two blackboards or one whiteboard and one blackboard um, over it, and. Uh, that was a little bit of a. That was just one of those times where uh, I got to put a review out there, so I got to do something, make a few things, and there you go. Um, I will be doing a little bit more of a better review next time, and a little bit, a little bit more uh, uh, the descriptive about the the toy, because honestly, I don't think I was a little bit descriptive about that last toy, and uh, so that's just what I wanted uh, to say. So. Uh, the bow reviews aren't gone. They will be more, and expect a because uh, I if you read the comment that I put on a uh, YouTube, yes, I will be doing a uh, Beast Hunters marathon. The first one was Optimus, and uh, I uh, I'm not sure which one I'll be doing next. Uh, you guys can uh, see over here. Mm -hmm. Man, a lot of good toys here. I don't know. We'll see. Um, so that's it for uh, my little ramble about my bow reviews. Um, the main thing that I'm going to be doing today on the bow show is talking about the uh, Transformers robots in disguise. Um, we're most we're just uh, today we're just going to be talking about uh, something that's been uh, brought up to uh, recently. Uh, that and that is uh, um, Hasbro has basically. Revealed their first two waves of their Transformers robots in the skies. The four figures in the first wave is uh, Bumblebee, Grimlock, Strongarm, and Steeljaw. Um, like I said, I haven't picked up uh, Grimlock, Strongarm, or Steeljaw. I haven't found them in my ear area, so but they will be reviewed. Don't worry, I will be reviewing them soon. But as you can see from behind me, I have some other things I'd like to review. I'd say that they're uh, cool figures, but you know there's other things I want to review first. Um, so, uh, their, their second wave was, uh, Optimus Prime and Drift, and, uh, we never got to see what Takara was going to do. We never see, we saw, we never saw what Takara was going to do with their toy line. Well, it's been officially, uh, well, not, well, yeah, it has been officially, um, on, uh, TFW 2005, Cybertron.com, com. they, uh, Finally, they showed us off, they showed off uh, in their news page the toy listings and images of the Takara Transformers Robots in Skies figures. And uh, in this video, I'm just going to talk about how I feel about those figures. Um, we're not going to talk about Bumblebee, Grimlock, uh, Strongarm, and Steeljaw because there's not that many differences in them because that's there's nothing really different about them. Bumblebee, there's a maybe one or two few extra strips and a blue, some blue blue uh, little uh, paint on the wheels. And Strongarm has like a a, a stripe on her chest now. And uh, 
Grimlock is like translucent blue, or tra not translucent blue, what am I saying? Translucent green, in my opinion, I'm not sure, that could be my eyesight. And uh, Steel Jaws, nothing different. So, we're going to talk about the new figures that they revealed, the new, new ones. And uh, there is a lot of repaints in this toy in this toy line I'm going to feel because there is a lot of repaints from what they had to show us uh... yeah so I don't know but who knows uh... so the first thing that they showed off and they repaints is a, a scoop repaint the generation scoop uh... it seems to be in Constructicon colors I don't know if that's supposed to be a homage to G1 Scrapper, or maybe a uh, an Armada Scavenger. Um, I have no idea. I don't know if this is supposed to be one of those figures where, hey, we can't make a new mold for this character is going to be on the show, but we're going to make a repaint. I don't know, or it's just going to be one of those figures that, you know, ended up being repainted and just thrown into the toy line. It looks cool. I like the look at the. I like the. Uh, I've always liked the scoop mold. Um, I have it up here actually. I can show you. Here it is. Um, I really like this mold. It's a. It's a nice solid mold. It represents the G1 character very well. And I. Uh, I really like the. Uh, just the overall look of the figure. It's just a very solid robot mode. It doesn't have any kibble issues. Well. Well, there's a few, but it represents the G1 character very well, and honestly, I I was actually hoping that they would do a Constructicon repaint because it does look it does look really good in a in Constructicon colors. So that's a uh, really cool. I really like the uh, the repaint, but I don't think I'm going to get them because I I already have the original. I don't really buy repaints that much, only if they have some significance. Next one is the a strong arm repaint done up in a in a uh, I was going to say when I first saw it it looks like a robuster but when you really think about it and somebody actually uh posted this on TFW 2005 it looks like a RID roll bar and it does look a lot like roll bar and I could totally picture this being roll bar and uh I uh you know, my opinion about the strong arm mold is that it's it's a, it's okay, it's a decent mold, but just from looking at this uh, dead on, I'm not really impressed with this paint repaint because it's just a it's just an orange, slight purple and green repaint, and it doesn't look that good to me. It just I don't know, it doesn't look. It doesn't look like a Decepticon. It looks more like a Roadbuster than a than a roll bar to me. But I don't know. It looks okay, I guess. I'm probably not gonna pick this up. Probably gonna pass on it. But it's still cool that that uh, Takara was uh, able to repaint a uh, existing a RID mold. Next up is, and this is actually kind of surprising to me. I didn't expect Takara to go this far into the redos. The repaint slash redo molds. They're actually re re, re, re sorry my lip re releasing the animated swoop. And uh, I'm not sure if that's supposed to be re if those were supposed to be the original G1 colors, like in the original G1 toy. But it looks pretty close. I'm not sure if this is supposed to be an Autobot, but it does have that Autobot paint job. Um, it's it looks nice. I mean, I like the the paint job. Uh, I don't own the animated swoop uh mold, but it looks decent. Um, I might get it just to uh just to have it, just to have the mold. But I'm probably gonna be passing on this just because I I want to get the original mold just so I can see how it feels. Next up is another animated figure, and that is Slag, done up in a purple and blackish, red, orange, and tiny bit of yellow 
uh, paint job. He, I think he looks kind of weird in these colors. He doesn't, he reminds me of a, like with all the purple that's on this thing, he reminds me so much of the, uh, of the slug that, that, uh, the slug uh, repaint that we had as a Walmart exclusive for Transformers Age of Extinction. It reminds me so much of that, and I hated that. And this kind of gets me, this kind of has the same vibe to it, and I'm not really liking the repaint. It just doesn't look menacing. It kind of looks like, like I said, like someone like a uh, said, it looks like a Barney the dinosaur, and that that actually that actually that actually does. So it looks cool. I'm not saying it's not cool by any means, but it's you know it's some, if I had to pick it up, sure, but it's something that. At the time being, I'm probably going to pass. I have to see more photos. But, you know, it looks decent. I'll pick it up. I like dinosaurs. I mean, if you look up at the Age of Extinction shelf, if you probably can't see, uh, there's a lot of dinosaurs. And I love me some dinosaurs.